Hello everyone, welcome to our episode of Super Reaction Bros. I'm Kristen. I'm Christopher. And on today's episode, we're taking a look at the official trailer for a new David Leach film, Bullet Train. Uh, that's right, from the director of the first John Wick film, mm -hmm. comes to us a story about a group of assassins yeah. who all are on a tr bullet train with a very common mission. It, a, very, very, you know, a very type of relatable type of common mission. Now, briefly, we saw the teaser that was which was more of like a commercial. Train. It was more like a commercial for the train, which means that not only will these characters be essential to the story, but they're making it. They're kind of pointing out that the train is also a, a character of its own in, a, in, in in its own right. Yeah. So we got uh, Brad Pitt, who was in the teaser. Mm -hmm. We got Aaron Tyler Johnson, and as well as Sandra Bullock. Yes, and a few other more that we may not have mentioned. Yes. But let's finally see what this is all about. And and see if it's going to be worth to wait to watch or however it may go wherever you word it however you want to word it so again this is for the official trailer for bullet train so here we go yeah this is the same guy behind john wick though It's like it has that feel like how Smoke and Aces was, where it was like you have all these different characters, and it's like everything's somehow coming together in a way, but in a unique, awkward way. Try to think about the last action film Brad Pitt was in, not counting Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, because to be yeah, fair, yeah, I know what you mean though. But I forgot the last time he was actually in legit. Like, this looks no. good. This he looks was in closest with Inglorious Bastards. Yeah, but thi this looks this good. Looks you can tell it's from the guy who came, who helped with the John Wick film yeah. and Deadpool too. And what, what I like how he's playing the character. He's playing the character where he's like, yes, he's an assassin, but he's just like he's playing like that touristy type of like assassin. That hey, what's up? You know what's what's going on? Yeah, and you can tell he does like he, like he doesn't want to be there. It's like he doesn't like, want to be here, but it's like it's a job, and it's just like all oh, this is happening. He's just like and he thought, even he thinks too. It's supposed to be a simple job. I would not be surprised if he told you if he told me this was a side story in the John Wick universe. Because I get the same John Wick vibe. I do. It's all a, the characters. It's a situation where it's like 
Oh my god, this is just... It, it's, a, you, it's a situation where you just it feels like it. You really feel like it. And I love all the characters that are in this. I love how they're all trying to take a part of it. Even he's like, I don't even know you. I love the Japanese cover of Staying Alive, too. It makes it unique. It makes it stand out. I love the vibrant the, the vibrant setting. And like, he, like I said before, the tra- that's why they did the commercial for the teaser, because it's like the train's a character of its own in its own way. Because even that first scene where it's like, we're on the quiet train. <laughs> it's like shh. It's, it's like it's a the the, the, char- the, the, the train's a character on its own as well, and it's just this looks awesome. And just it seeing him fun. in an action film, like you said, you said they're going. God damn! What was the last action action movie he was actually in? Mm-hmm. Holy crap, man! It's like this looks good. It actually, Jerry looks really good. Um, I can't wait to check it out. I'm a fan of the John Wick films. I can't. We can't. Personally, can't wait for John Wick Chapter Four in the next year or so. So, yeah. like, yeah, I'm really psyched for this one as well. You know, maybe scratches that itch for just some more John Wick goodness. Oh, so, yeah, it does. Other than that, if you're new to the channel, you hit the like button. If you want to talk to us more about stuff like this, comment down below. If you want to share us around, share it around. And if you like this just a little bit more than anybody else, when it comes to talking about me realizing David Leach is pulling what you do with John Wick, older older action star actor yeah. going into something like this, same thing with Brad Pitt now, hit the subscribe button down below and hit that bell icon as well. What did you guys think of this trailer? Do you think it was freaking awesome? You love how it was set up? You love the action? You love who's starring in this? Was that Bad Bunny or is that somebody just looked like some I, Bad Bunny? I have to double check, but... Who knows? Uh, but what did you guys think of it? Does it look like it's going to be... You see Sandra Bullock either. No, which is an interesting thing. Unless she's playing more... Uh, was she the actual person that was telling him what to do? Maybe. She could be just voicing the... Ca- Masioka is in this. Huh. That's why I said. There's, it looks like there's so many extra side characters in this that they really haven't shown mm-hmm. that they could be playing. But what did you guys think? Again, was it action-packed enough? It, it is Bad Bunny. It I is just, Bad Bunny. I knew it. Benito yeah. Antonio Martinez is <laughs> in the film. And I love it. He's just like, I don't even know you. I was like, is that Bad Bunny? Is that Bad Bunny? You know, yeah, I was the first one I said. Even you were like... I think that is, or somebody that looks like him, you know? Uh, but again, like I said, you know, did you guys enjoy the action? Does it look like it's one of those films that's like, you love the high pace, you love the, the celebrity character kind of feel type of uh, uh, film where it's like you got all these, you know, familiar faces showing up, just trying to get this one single thing? I mean, let us know in the comments down below. Put down what you thought of our reaction overall to Bullet Train. But most importantly, we thank you for watching. And if you want to check out our auto reaction to the initial teaser trailer for this, you can check that out right here in the channel but until next time i'm chris uh, i'm christopher and this has been a very bullish train filled episode of srb stay in life. stay in life. see ya later hey guys thanks for watching if you want to check out any of our previous reactions as well as one of our other srb shows check out one of the playlists down below and if you want to check us out in the social universe you can find us on twitter and stardust at super react bros as well as on facebook at super reaction bros